This is a video tutorial on finding the compass error and deviation through the azimuth method. The question gives me a date of the 13th of September and a GMT time of 014151. That's GMT time. The DR latitude 57 degrees 30 minutes north, longitude 002 degrees 0 minutes east. Being given the star that I'm looking at, and the compass bearing of 0 to 8 degrees. The variation for my position was 3 degrees east. So I'm looking for my compass error and deviation. I've already calculated the LHA and declination. If you need help with that, then have a look at the video tutorial on finding GHA, LHA and declination. In order to do an azimuth, I first need to find the values for A, B and C. And these are my three formulas. So firstly, let's do A. A is equal to the tan of the latitude divided by the tan of the LHA. So the latitude was given as 57 degrees 30 minutes and the LHA I've calculated as 213 degrees 53.8. So onto my calculator. and I get my value to write down. Now, A needs to be given a name. It's going to be named North or South. And which one that is depends on my latitude and LHJ. So, it's named opposite to my latitude, except when my LHJ lies between 90 and 270 degrees. In this case, my LHA does lie between 90 and 270, so therefore I'm going to name A the same as my latitude, which is north. So now I need to find a value for B. B is equal to the tan of the declination divided by the sine of the LHA. The declination I've already found. Divide that by the sine of my LHA. And that gives me my value for B. Now, because I'm going to be giving B a name as well, I can ignore this little minus sign that comes out and just write the number as if it was positive. Okay, now again, I need to give B a name, and that's going to be the same name that my declination has got. My declination is north, so B is also going to be named north. So now I can move on to C. C is equal to A plus or minus B. If A and B are the same names, that is plus. If A and B are different names, it's subtract. In this case, they're the same names, so C is going to be equal to A plus B. So onto my calculator. to get me C. So if I write that value down, now again, just like A and B, C needs to take a name also. Because A and B are both north, I can name C north. If A and B were different names, then C would get named whichever had the largest value. So, I found A, I found B, and I've used them both to find C. I'm now going to use that C figure in order to find the tangent of my azimuth. So, tan azimuth is equal to 1 
divided by C multiplied by the cosine of the dr latitude. So I put that into my calculator. That gives me a value for the tan of the azimuth. Now that's the tangent of the azimuth. I want to find the actual value of the azimuth. So if I inverse tan that answer, that'll give me the value for my azimuth. I just need to go to one decimal place now, so 18.2. Okay, so I need to give my azimuth names. First of all, I need to name it north or south. And that depends on what C was. In my case, C was north, so my azimuth will be named north. Then east or west, depending on the value of my LHA. If LHA is between 0 and 180 degrees, my azimuth will be named west. If my LHA is between 180 degrees and 360 degrees, my azimuth will be named east. So in this case, my azimuth will take the name of east. Okay, so now I need to transform this into a true. Now, as we know, north is 000 on a compass and east is 090. So if I was following this set of set, like a set of instructions, I started at north and I went 18.2 degrees towards the east. My numbers are increasing as I move around. So that's what I'm going to do to find my azimuth. I'm going to do 0 plus 18.2 because the numbers increase. So that will give me a true bearing of 0, 018.2 degrees. The compass bearing was given to me in the question of 0 to 8. So you can see that there is some difference between these two values. That difference is my compass error. So 1 minus the other will give me the value for that error. 28 minus 18.2, so my compass error is 9.8 degrees. Now, as with everything else, I need to give this a name as well. And the rule is compass best, error west, compass least, error east. Now, in this instance, my compass is best, meaning it is bigger than my true value. So compass best error west. My compass error is 9.8 degrees west. So now all I need to find is my deviation. Now you don't have to do this this way, but I find this is the easiest through TVM DC. If you're working from T, which is true, to C, which is compass, if you're working down in that direction, we're going to add westerly values and minus easterly values. So the true bearing, which I've calculated, 0, 018.2. And my compass, which was given to me, 0, 028. The variation, V for variation, was given in the question as 3 degrees east. So... If I'm working from true downwards, I'm adding west, minusing east. So M for magnetic is going to be equal to 0, 015.2 degrees. That's my true, minus 3 degrees gives me that. Now the difference between magnetic and compass, that is my deviation. So my compass minus this, or the difference between the two, will give me the value for deviation.
So my deviation is equal to 12.8. Now I need to give this a name as well. So TVMDC, I'm working downwards, so I'm adding westerly values and minusing easterly values. In order to get from magnetic to compass, my values need to increase. They're getting bigger, so therefore my declination has got to be west, because in order to get from 015.2 to 028, I have to add 12.8 degrees. And you can also think of it as that rule that I said before, compass best, error west. Compass is better than this one, it's bigger than this one, so the error has got to be west. My deviation is west. So compass error was 9.8 degrees west, and my deviation was 12.8 degrees west. So there we have it. I've managed to find A, B, and C. I used C to find my azimuth and my true bearing. I compared the true with the compass to find my compass error. Compass error is made up of variation and deviation. Variation was given, enabled me to find magnetic. I could compare my magnetic with compass to find deviation. So compass error, 9.8 west. Deviation, 12.8 west.